Just to let you know, everybody in the room here is sending lots of support, all the answers they can possibly think of to add to the ones that you already know. But it is a tribute to both teams that here we are at a third match between such stellar competitors. So here we go, without any preamble. Your categories are working the abs inside the White House, scientifically speaking, African-American dance. Oakwood won the coin toss. You have the honor, sir. Choose which category will you begin round one with? Scientifically speaking. Here's your face off. Good luck. Of the fundamental particles Niels Bohr used in his model of the atom, which would now be labeled a negatively charged lepton? James. Positron? Nope, sorry. Jamal, can Proton. you Proton. Electron was what we needed. Jamal, choose again. Scientifically speaking. Scientifically speaking, which German mathematician and philosopher is co-credited, along with Newton, with the discovery of calculus? James. Calvin. Nope, sorry. Jamal, can you answer? Euler. No, Leibniz was whose we needed. Please, take again. Scientifically speaking. From the Greek for dwarf, what emerging ology deals with materials and devices measured on an atomic or molecular scale? Jamal. Micro. No, sorry, James. Micrology? No, no, it's still, it's still hanging out there. Nanotechnology was what we needed. Jamal, choose again. African American dance. Here we go. The 2010 3D version was set in New York City, while the first two step up films were set in what major city further south? Jamal. Atlanta. No, sorry, James. Los Angeles. No, Baltimore, Maryland was what we needed. Choose African American again. dance. Back to the category. Which noted tap dancer earned three Tony nominations for Sophisticated Ladies and starred on screen in White Nights? Jamal. Gregory Hines. Now you're on the board. Here's your bonus. Cap. 30 years after she first yeah, yeah. appeared in Cry, who became the first dancer to earn a National okay, Medal of Art? Team, your answer. Debbie Allen. No, Judith Jameson. Yeah. What dance foundation she long led also won the medal? Hmm. Team, your answer. The Ballet Dance Theater of nope, Harlem? Sorry, can't take it. Alvin Ailey was the answer yeah, to that, but you control the board. Dance, uh, American dance. Back to the category. The racism he experienced after integrating the New York City Ballet inspired which man to create an all-black ballet company, the DTH? James. Mitchell. That's correct. Here's your bonus. What do those dance, three letters dance stand theater for? Dance Theater of Harlem. All five points apiece, five point well, bonus. You got them all. Inside the White House. Here we go. Who was America's only chief executive never elected as president or vice president? Jamal. Madison. No, sorry, James, can you Ford. Ford's correct, your bonus. Which vice president resigned in the 70s? Agnew. That's correct. Which man who appointed Ford later resigned, giving Ford the presidency? Nixon. All 20 earned on the bonus. Inside the White House. And we'll go there. Who was the only US president to also serve as a Supreme Court jurist? Jamal. Adams. No, sorry, James. Taft. That's correct. Your bonus. Taft's 1908 victory was the third strikeout for what Democratic orator? Brian. That's correct. Taft's birthplace, now a National Historic Site, is in what city, home to pro baseball's oldest team? Uh, Cooperstown. Cincinnati was what we needed, but you earned 10 points in control of the board. Inside the White House. Back to the category. Grandson of another president, which Republican's highest office before the presidency was a senator from Indiana from 1881 to 1887? James. Taft. Nope, sorry. Jamal, can you answer? Adams. No, Benjamin Harrison. James, choose working again. The, working the ABS. What word can be an adjective meaning theoretical or a noun meaning a summary of important points? Jamal. Abscissus. No, sorry, James, can you answer? Absolutory. No, abstract was what we needed. James, choose again, Working please. Working the ABS. Back to the category. What word containing ABS denotes being relieved of an obligation? James. Absent. No, sorry, Jamal. Abduct. No, absolved was what we needed. Work in the ABS. Right back to the category. What kind of beetles were venerated by ancient Egyptians? James. Scarab. That's correct. Here's your bonus. It's slang for sailors or pieces of gauze used to clean wounds. Swabs. Correct. A fleet of cars available for hired transportation. Cabs. That's correct. All 20 earned on the bonus. The end of round one. Jesus.